Have you ever been told that you're too young to make a difference? Or have you ever felt like there's something you wanted to do, but you're not yet old enough to do it? Grab your coffee or your Capri Sun. Let's talk about that. So the moment you've all been waiting for, Oxford and Webster's Dictionary has released their word of the year. I know you've anticipated it so much. And that word is youthquake. What crap is a youthquake? It's like an earthquake of youths? I don't, youthquake, this is what they say. A significant cultural, political, or social change arising from the actions or influence of young people. But listen to this, how they d decide this word. It says Oxford Dictionary and Webster's Dictionary have picked the word that has made the most difference in the past year. Get that, they have picked the word that has made the most difference in the last year and that word is youthquake, meaning a significant change arising from the actions of young people. So if you've ever felt or if you've ever been told that you are not yet old enough to do this, that you are too young to make a change, too young to make a difference, those are just pipe dreams. You're too young to actually do anything about it. Well, I've got news for you. The world has noticed your change. The world has noticed your heart. The world has noticed what you want to accomplish. And it says that is the most significant change of 2017 and I believe that's gonna go on for years to come. Your passions, your desires, the changes you want to make, you are capable, you are able, you are not too young, you are perfectly able to do that thing and I believe God has put you in that place. But sometimes we still feel like we're not old enough. Sometimes we still feel like we are too young or maybe we feel like we're not qualified. Maybe we just feel like we're not good enough. That we still have these emotions even though we know when we watch videos like this that tell us JUST DO IT! Even though we know these things, sometimes we still feel like we're not old enough. But you see, that's not what I see whenever I look at some of the most influential people I've ever seen. I see people who started at such a young age and made a huge difference in the world. I look at some of my idols which are the disciples of Jesus, the early followers of Jesus. And I see the huge difference that they made. And it's not until I realize that when I'm reading the gospel accounts that I'm reading pretty much the accounts of teenagers. Did you know that? That when Jesus began his ministry, he was 30 years old. And it was custom at that time that a rabbi would take on younger people. And, and most of the time, the, the disciples that they would take on would be between the ages of 13 and 15. And we can look at cultural and historical context, the times and deaths of the disciples, to know that they were roughly between the ages of 13 up to about 25. That when Jesus first came and called the disciples, the 12 men that would go on to change the world forever, he picked teenagers. Let that sink in. It was not men in their 40s and 50s. It was not Pharisees and Sadducees. It was not the brilliant religious rulers of that day. It was teenagers. You see, I think God knows something. I think God knows that any good, powerful, lasting, world-changing thing that's gonna happen in this world is gonna come from the mouths and the actions of youth. And I think the world's catching on. We see a youth quake is coming. We see that the youth of today will change tomorrow. We see that the youth of today will make a difference. They will make our world better or they will make our world worse. What change are you gonna make? Are you gonna follow the actions, the errors, the misconceptions of those in the past? Or are you gonna follow the word of God? Are you gonna follow Jesus in making this world everything it was meant to be? What change are you gonna make? You're not too young. You're not unqualified. You are perfectly capable and perfectly able to change this world. You are perfectly capable and you are perfectly able to make a difference. What kind of difference will you make? Because if you wanna make a godly difference, if you wanna see love come forth in this world, if you wanna see there to be a true difference, 
then I think we gotta follow the words of Paul when he writes his letter to Timothy. In 2 Timothy 2.22 it says, So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Once again in 1 Timothy 4.12, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Do you want to make a good change? Do you want to make a lasting change? You are at the perfect place to do it. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example in speech, in faith, in love, and in purity. If you want to make a good, lasting change, if you want to make a youth quake that people will talk about for years to come, follow the message of the Bible. Follow the actions and the conduct of Jesus. Become a disciple. Spread his message of love, not hate. You will never look in the Bible and find the message of hate in Jesus' words. When you read the words in red, all you will read is love, and that's all we should show is love that we cannot spread the message of the gospel through hate and judgment. We can only show the message of Jesus. We can only show the words in red through love and grace. If you wanna make a difference, follow the words of Jesus, show love and grace to the world, and go out and make a difference. Love one another, help one another, be there when someone needs you. Be loyal, be trustworthy, be loving, be graceful. Be the Christian that God has called us to be, not the Christian that the churches have made. Be the Christian that Jesus called us to be. Love one another, help one another. People should know that you are a Jesus follower because of your actions. Go out and be that. Cause a youth quake of love, of grace. Point the world back to Jesus. And like the disciples, you will change the world for the better. I believe that. I hope you do too. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I release content just like this every single week, so go ahead and slap that subscribe button right there. That was weird, I did it in a... Or, 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 hit the subscribe button. Alright guys, keep living that bold life.